Well, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Educative Bar Fly. Today, I've got a special episode for you. My good friend David Stolte is coming out with a new edition of his book, Home Bar Basics and Not So Basics More Than 200 Recipes. Sorry, more than 200 essential recipes for slings, sours, grogs, and nogs. And he's running a Kickstarter campaign to publish it. So he's had two other editions come out before this. I've never been able to get my hands on any of them because I'm very unlucky. I'm super excited that I'm getting my hands on this one because I contributed to the Kickstarter campaign. And I don't know how many of you guys are as adamant at collecting cocktail books as I am, but I like to get my hands on every single one that I find interesting. I will buy them up. Marius knows this very well, don't you, Marius? I, just, I like to just buy them up. I like to have that knowledge. Anyway, uh, David Stolte is a local designer and cocktail I guess, industry fixture here in Los Angeles. He has an incredible amount of knowledge. And so what I thought we would do today is I would take uh, a sling, a sour, a grog, and a nog, just four recipes that fit those categories uh, and make them for you uh, so you can get a little bit of taste of what you're gonna find inside that book. And uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll talk about Dave uh, and Jason a little bit later. Let's get into making the cocktails. So the first cocktail that we're gonna do is called a Frank Lloyd Wright. It was created at Bourbon and Branch in San Francisco around 2010, and it fits in the sling category. So what is a sling? A sling is a spirit forward drink that has a balanced amount of aromatics and uh, sweetness. The very most famous one that you could think of would be an old fashioned or something. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is just a couple of dashes of Angostura bitters. We are gonna do one teaspoon of Nocino, which is a walnut liqueur. And the name of the cocktail is Frank Lloyd. Frank Lloyd Wright. Wright. Okay. Yes. I feel like it's a missed opportunity there with uh, Frank Lloyd Rye, but. <laughs> well, then we would have to be, Rye. it's a bourbon cocktail though, and it would have to be rye. But you know what? Jason Schiffer is gonna watch this video, so now he knows. Missed opportunity there, man. Maybe we should uh, do a, maybe we should do a, a, a Frank Lloyd Rye follow-up cocktail, right? Uh, then we're gonna do uh, one teaspoon of Isla Scotch. I am using Lagavu uh, Lafroy because that's what I got on hand, not Lagavulin, but Lafroy. Uh, but you can use what whatever uh, you would like as far as your uh, Isla Scotch. And then we're gonna do half an ounce of pear liqueur. I am using the spiced pear from St. George, but any pear liqueur will do. As long as it's not pear brandy, it's gotta be pear liqueur. And then two ounces of bourbon. Let's give the, uh, the first ice cube the old cracky poo, shall we? Maybe one more cracky poo. Ooh, I love these proper cold draft pieces of ice because they just come right apart. Let's give it a nice stir. Now it took us a couple of takes to get that intro done correctly. So this ice has been sitting out for a little while. It's a little bit wetter. So I'm gonna probably stir it a little tiny bit less than I would normally. And then strain it into our Nick and Nora. Beautiful. And then I'm just gonna give it a nice little, ooh, this is one of those. See, this is one of those like really the skin is super tight. These are the ones that you cut yourself on by the way, guys. So. When the skin is super tight on a lemon, be really careful when you when you peel it. And you also get these sort of like jagged peels and you get a lot of pith in these. This is, uh, you know, just uh, not super ripe. You don't want it to be too ripe, but this is like very hard. And we're just gonna give it a nice little spritz. And then we're gonna discard that peel. And there it is, the Frank Lloyd Wright. I can't not taste this cocktail, I gotta do it. Ooh, that is fantastic. But what's nice is you get that hit of scotch right up front and then everything else plays out in the back end. So there it is guys, the Frank Lloyd Wright. So the next cocktail we're doing is called the Detroiter by Jason Schiffer himself, created for his bar 320 Main in the 2010s. This one is in the sour category and I mean, we all know what a sour is, but basically, you know, for the sake of the video, it is a uh, drink that is got citrus that is balanced out by sugar. Uh, and then this cocktail is really gonna show you how far you can go with that template. So first thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of honey syrup. I'm using three to one honey syrup. We are gonna do one ounce of IPA of your choice. And it's gonna foam a little bit, so you wanna make it a fat ounce. And I'm gonna boop. 
We're using uh, the Laird's 86. We're doing three quarters of an ounce. And then we're doing one ounce of Chinar. Now, first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to dry shake this a little bit to sort of drive off some of the uh, fizziness of the beer that we put in here. And that is gonna exp expand pressure in this tin, so make sure that you locked it properly. Then we're gonna add our ice. And this cocktail is what we call a shake and dump because we are not going to strain over ice. We are just gonna dump it into our glass and have a healthy amount of ice in there. Get a nice shake. Give it the old dumpy poo. I can just hear people being like, no, sir, I will not give it the old dumpy poo. <laughs> and then we're gonna give it a grapefruit twist. Spritz the oils atop of the cocktail and then can give it one of these guys. And you know what we didn't, what you're supposed to do is actually, we forgot to just add a little IPA, effervescent IPA atop of the cocktail as well. You should do that before you you do the twist, but I forgot. Sorry, guys. You you guys are used to me forgetting stuff, though. Oh, man, that's my new favorite thing. That is fantastic. So there it is, the Detroiter. So the next cocktail love is called a Cuba Libre Preparado. It was, uh, originally I thought it was created by a bartender named Paul Harrington, but it's actually been around since the 1910s, uh, purportedly uh, created in Venezuela. Uh, this it falls in the grog category. So grog is a spirit that has been uh, thinned or lengthened uh, with some type of water in a lot of various forms. In this particular video, it is going to be uh, Coca-Cola that gives it that lengthening that we are looking for. Uh, all right, First, let's get into making- Coca-Cola, let's say in Spanish. Coca di cola, yes, the Coke of the cola. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is three quarters of an ounce of lime juice, half an ounce of gin, and this is what really makes this cocktail sing, guys. Just that little bit of gin and it just makes it so, mwah, chef's kiss, you know what I mean? And then we're gonna do one ounce of, well, I was gonna say Cuban style rum, but we're actually using Cuban rum. But for those of you who cannot use Cuban rum, Use a Cuban style rum. Add our ice to our tin, and then just add this bit of cocktail to a shaker. Give it a nice shake. I really wanted to give you the old metal shake, but I knew what you would say, so I didn't. T-shirts in our store. Oh yes, Marius made a metal shake t-shirt and it's pretty awesome. There's actually a couple of different styles too and they're pretty awesome. I gotta say, I really like the metal shake t-shirt you made, bud. All right, so we're gonna do a little strainy, strainy pants into our glass here. And then we are going to lengthen with coca de cola, as they say in Spanish. And as you see, I'm pouring it off the ice so it just mixes. And then we're gonna do a little lime wedge. Here we go, let's taste it. Mm. Mwah. It's the gin inside this that really makes it sing, but and what's really great about it is that you've got the lime juice that makes it nice and tart. You're lengthening it out with Coke that adds a little bit of sugar to it and you get obviously that Coca-Cola flavor. And you would think that the Coke has such a strong flavor profile that it would kind of run over the gin or the rum, but it actually doesn't. You get that gin right in there, all the botanicals real nice, you get that rum in there, and it's just a really nicely balanced drink. So there you have it, the Cuba Libre Preparado, which means prepared in Spanish. So for our very last cocktail, we're gonna be doing one of Dave Stolte's own creations created in 2010. It's called an Alejandro, and it is in the nog category. So a nog is any drink that is thickened with milk, cream, or egg. And luckily we're in the right time of year for nogs to be appropriate. First thing we are gonna do is one ounce of heavy cream, three quarters of an ounce of creme de cacao. You can use any creme de cacao you want, including the white variety if you so desire. A quarter of an ounce of ancho reyes, which is a chili liqueur. And last but not least, an ounce and a half of mezcal. We're using the Vida Espadín mezcal. 
We're gonna add some ice to our tin. And then add our cocktail and give it a nice hard shake. That, we don't want that to fall on the ground. You know, even though I have this, I decided I'm gonna, I'm not going to actually double strain. I'm just going to make sure to close the gate. So that is called closing the gate. And that means that you wanna get less ice chips into your drink or no ice chips into your drink. And then I'm gonna do a nice orange twist. We're just gonna twist that over the top of the cocktail and discard it. And then we're gonna do a little nutmeg sort of capper off. Let's taste this, this is gonna be so good. Oh, wow. So nice. Chocolate and mezcal with that little bit of chili is like, mm, so good. So there you have it, guys, the Alejandro. All right, guys, so I really hope you liked this episode. Uh, I hope we got you some really good, interesting versions of slings, sours, grogs, and nogs. And uh, go out and make the cocktails. Live long and prosper. And I'll see you guys on another time. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. And go to our, uh, our website where you can buy t-shirts and bottles for us of alcohol so we can make them and, and into cocktails and, I don't know, shout you out.